What led you initially to write The Art of Learning? And of course, that's how I was in many ways introduced to your work and then through our, our mutual friend, Max, ended up connecting. But what was, the, what was the reason you decided to write that book? Yeah, you know, I initially started thinking about, about the idea of the book about two years into my martial arts life. Um, so I transitioned from chess into studying, into meditating, into studying East Asian philosophy. Then I started getting into Tai Chi Chuan and ultimately into the martial application of it, push hands. And I started to experience this very interesting transition from, from the principles. My level in chess just began to translate directly over into the martial arts. And I, th- I think it was primarily one experience I had. It was something around two years into my Tai Chi training. I was giving a simultaneous chess exhibition in Memphis, Tennessee at a fundraiser for muscular dystrophy. And I was playing 45 or 50 boards at once. I was, so I'm walking down the middle of this big square of chess tables. Everyone's playing one game. I'm playing each of them. And about 40 minutes into the simul, I had this experience that was so interesting. I began to feel like I was riding the energetic wave of the game like I was in my push hands training. I wasn't playing chess. I wasn't thinking in chess language. I wasn't calculating variations. I was feeling the flow, feeling the space left behind like I would in the martial arts. And... I had this realization, you know, I was playing beautiful chess, but I wasn't consciously playing chess, that the barriers between these two different arts had dissolved in my mind. And that's when I started to conceive of the idea of the book. And a lot of the process of, I spent five years taking notes, maybe four or 500 pages of notes in the book before I actually sat down and wrote it. And a lot of that process was deconstructing what I'd been doing rather intuitively. Um, so essentially what it felt like was translation of and parallel learning. These are two rather abstract terms. That that's the language that I was using internally when I was first thinking about the book because it felt like I was just taking the essence of one art and translating it over into another. And then the process of writing it involved deconstructing what I'd been doing um, somewhat abstractly into something that could be replicated more systematically. 